Hello everyone, we will start with our first enhancement and modification technique and we will go for our first enhancement that is implicit and explicit enhancement. Now what is implicit enhancement? In case of implicit enhancement, we will talk about implicit point. An implicit point will be available at the start or at the last of the, it can be SAP program, it can be SAP function module, it can be standard SAP subroutines. So in case of implicit enhancement, we have a implicit point. That implicit point is at the start or at the last. It can be your program, it can be your function module, it can be your subroutines. After getting the implicit point, we can go for implicit implementation. Now the one most important word, whenever we will talk about implementation mode, means we will write the logic. Implementing means we will write the logic at those points. So what is implicit implement, what is implicit enhancement? In case of implicit enhancement, we have a implicit point at the starting or at the last. It can be programs, it can be function module, it can be subroutines also. At those points, we will create implementations so that we can write the logic. Now, what is explicit enhancement? In case of explicit enhancement, anyways, we'll go into detail later. We will talk about explicit point and section. In the case of explicit enhancement, we have two things, explicit point and section, and they will be available at any line. See, implicit is at the start or at the last, but explicit is available at any line inside the code. And at those lines, we will create explicit implementations, means we will write the logic. So our first target is to understand the basic difference between both of them. Then we will start with the practical part. What is implicit enhancement and what is explicit enhancement? In case of implicit enhancement, we have an implicit point. It will be at the start or at the last, and we will create implementations at those points. But in case of explicit enhancement, we will talk about two things, point and section both, and they are available at any line inside the SAP code and we will create implementations as to at those point and sections. Means we will write the logic. Firstly, we will see practically how we can check implicit point and how we can create the implementations. Suppose, we'll go for our first, suppose we'll go for any function module. Suppose I'm going for SC37 transaction code and you widely, widely used a SAP function module. Suppose I'm going for reuse ALB grid display. See, this is SAP function module, totally SAP function module. Suppose in this function module, we want to write our own code. See, I cannot change this function module because this is SAP function module, but I can write the logic or I can enhance this function module at the start or at the last. Suppose firstly, suppose in this function module, if we want to check where is the implicit point, where is the implicit point? So how we can check? So we can, you can go for edit. You can go for enhancement operations. 
and there is the option show implicit enhancement option whenever you will click on to this it will show you the implicit point at the start or at the last suppose i am clicking on to this now have you seen one implicit point came automatically if i will go to the last you can see one implicit point came automatically here suppose i am again hiding and show you edit enhancement operations hide now you can see there is no point there is no implicit point if i will go or i will show you again edit enhancement operation show implicit enhancement option you can see we have a implicit point at the last of the function module we have a implicit point at the start of the function module also so this is implicit point at the top or at the last similarly you can go for programs you can go for subroutines you can check now at this at these points we can create our implementations means we can write the logic depends upon the requirement suppose i want to write a logic here so how i can write a logic now the most important part you cannot change you are enhancing you are enhancing so rather than clicking on to change button you need to click on to enhance button you are enhancing sap function module so you can click on to enhance button once you click on to enhance button you can create the implementation so that you can write the logic there suppose how to write the logic you can right click on implicit point now you can go for enhancement operation and you can see we have a option of create implementation once you click on to create implementation you can give some name to the implementation suppose i am clicking on to create implementation now it is asking yes do you want to create a implementation where you want to write the code yes i want to write the code so i'll click on to code now i will click on to create button i will click on to create button i will give some implementation name now just see i am giving the implementation name starting with z suppose i am saying z implementation for grid display function module and i am giving serial number suppose i am saying implicit implementation i'll click on to okay button i will suppose i will save it as a local object now you can see this is the implementation which you created okay now you can see here you can write your own code the window open where you can write your own code its total wish suppose i am writing write one suppose so just see this is sap function module and as we enhance that function module we write our own logic but we write the logic at the top or at the last we can write the logic at the top or at the last but please please make sure that you are enhancing the standard things so if you are practicing those also please please undo all those things so that it should not it should not hamper the other people so please please undo this implementation suppose if i want to undo this implementation right click on the implementation and there is a option of undo 
So please, it's a request to all of you, those whenever you will go for practical part, because we are doing everything in SAP things, SAP functionalities. So after practice, please, please undo all those things. Now, in this particular video, what we learned, what is the difference between implicit and explicit enhancement? Implicit is at the, in case of implicit, the point is at the top or at the last. But in case of explicit, we have explicit point and section at any line and we will create implementations. What we did in this particular SAP function module, we firstly check how to get the implicit, how to get the implicit points. Then at that implicit point, we created the implicit implementation and we wrote the logic. Now, we'll just go for last important point. If you remember, we cover what is enhancement. In case of enhancement, you are enhancing the SAP logic in customer namespace. And if you see few minutes back what we did, we enhanced the SAP function module. But when we created the implementation, the implementation name starts with what Z. Z means it is a customer namespace. That's why it is called as enhancement, means you are enhancing the SAP functionality in customer namespace. In the next video, we will take an example and we will achieve that functionality using implicit implementation. So that's it in this video. Thank you.